was pretty much constant pain. Yeah. The clot was just above the knee. The injections were needed to make sure I could get up and active as soon as possible. I had knee replacement on my left knee about seven months ago and I had knee replacement on my right knee about five minutes ago. I was put on Clexane to rent DVTs. You have been prescribed Clexane for the treatment of an existing blood clot or to help prevent a blood clot forming. Clots can form in the arteries and veins. Your healthcare professional will help you understand why you've been prescribed Clexane. The dose, how often, and for how long you'll be taking Clexane. This video is designed to explain how to use Clexane and to ensure you get the most from your treatment. Well, a DVT is when blood clots within a vein. The other name for a DVT is a deep vein thrombosis. A DVT, usually in terms of a situation where it forms, uh, will form uh, within the deep veins of the leg and can happen after surgery, after trauma, and with other specific medical conditions. Factors that can increase your risk of DVT include recent surgery, especially for joint replacement, recent injury, previous DVT, a family history of DVT, prolonged immobility, medical conditions such as cancer, lung disease, blood clotting abnormalities, heart failure or stroke, obesity, smoking and taking the contraceptive pill. Early signs of DVT include pain and tenderness in the leg, swelling of the lower leg, ankle and foot, and red, warm skin. If you have any of these signs, seek medical attention immediately. Well, pulmonary embolus can be a potentially life-threatening condition. What can happen is the clot which breaks off from the vein in the leg can travel up through the body and lodge itself in the lungs. If it's small enough, often the patients don't have any problems at all. But if it's large enough, it can actually block off the circulation within the lungs, causing shortness of breath, chest pain, and very rarely death. To learn that you've got a blood clot that's mobile was a bit of a concern. It was probably as I was recovering that I realised how serious it had been. Clexane therapy is an, an injection which your doctor will prescribe for you in two circumstances. One is either to prevent you from getting a DVT and in the other circumstance, if you have already developed a DVT, to, prevent, or to stop it from getting any worse. Well, the way Clexane works is that it uh, thins the blood a bit. It's actually, some people call it a blood thinner and helps to prevent the clots from forming in the first place and getting bigger when they're already there. Then the body's own mechanisms will dissolve the clot. The period of time you will be on Clexane will depend on the reason for being prescribed the medication. Your doctor will advise you on the treatment dose and duration. To reduce your risk of DVT, keep the following in mind. If you've had a previous blood clot and you're scheduled to have surgery, or you injure yourself and break a bone, make sure your doctor is aware of your past medical history. When driving long distances, take frequent stops and walk around. On long flights, walk up and down the aisles regularly. Try to avoid sitting for long periods. Make sure you take a brief walk once an hour. If you have to sit, do heel-toe lifts to increase your circulation. Drink plenty of fluids and avoid alcohol. If you're on the pill, don't smoke. If you have a family history of DVT, ask your doctor about a blood test which can now show if you have inherited the problem. And compression stockings may be advised. Clexane comes in a pre-filled syringe, which means the medication is already in the syringe, ready to use. There's four basic steps in the Clexane self-administration process. The first step is getting ready. And most patients like to sit down because it gives them a bit more area to work with with their tummy rather than lying down. So we've got the needle here, and there's your sharps container. Once you've got everything in front of you, it's very important that you wash your hands in warm running water 
with soap and recommended time is about 15 seconds. Because we're in a hospital environment here, I'm going to put gloves on, but it's not necessary that you do this at home. Step two is selecting the injection site. So we look at your abdomen and the recommendation is that you inject five centimetres to the right of your belly button or five centimetres to the left. It is important that you alternate this site every day, so one day you would choose the right side, then the next day you would go to the left side. Step three is injecting the Clexane. Now we've taken this out of the box and we're checking the expiry date on this. It's very important that we do that and all the other needles will be the same, so that's fine. It is important that you hold the needle in the hand that you write with. So you very, very carefully hold the syringe, pointing the needle away from you. And most patients find it comfortable to just twist the cap off. It is very important that you do not bend the needle as you take the cap off. When you pick up the needle, you will notice that there is an air bubble at the end of the needle. Because the injection is going into the fatty layer under the skin, the air bubble is not a danger. It is important that you do not expel that air bubble. There's two different types of doses of Clexane. One is for the prevention of a deep vein thrombosis or a DVT, and the other is for the treatment of a deep vein thrombosis. If you have been prescribed Clexane to prevent a blood clot, the medication will already be preloaded into the syringe and you need to inject the whole amount in that syringe. If you have been prescribed Clexane to treat a blood clot or a deep vein thrombosis, your dose will be specific to your weight and to your medical history. So in this case, you might need to expel some of the medication from the needle. With the needle held in front of you, it is important to be aware of the air bubble in the needle and holding the syringe comfortably in the hand that you are going to administer the needle with. Depress the plunger so that the air bubble corresponds to the dose that your doctor has prescribed to you. And can you see those graduated markings mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. So very slowly, we're just going to take it down to there. Okay, and that's where we're going to stop. For the treatment of a deep vein thrombosis, your doctor will advise you to inject once a day or twice a day. So you have selected your injection site, you pick up the fold of skin and you place the needle at a 90 degree angle into that skin fold, into the fatty tissue under the skin and you slowly depress that plunger until all the medication has been administered. It's very important that once you've done the injection that you withdraw the needle very slowly. The fourth stage is disposing of your needle. Once you have disposed of your needle into the sharps container, it is important to close the lid firmly and place the sharps container in a safe place. Your doctor's practice will be able to advise you where to safely dispose of your sharps container. First four days in hospital, they do it for the first three days and then after the third day they usually get you to inject yourself. And then I got home and I started doing myself then. I done it at night about seven o'clock every night. I done it and it was quite simple and quite easy. Look, it was just an injection. Goes in, done, off you go. In many cases, you will be advised to take Claxane with another oral anti-clotting drug. If you ever forget to take your Clexane, contact your health professional as soon as you realise you've missed a dose. In my experience of monitoring patients on Clexane, I have seen very few side effects. Some of the side effects to Clexane can be warmness at the injection site, some puffiness, some people get a bit of swelling or edema, some people can get a little bit of oozing from the injection site, and some people can develop a, actually a skin reaction, a generalised skin reaction. For a more complete list of side effects, refer to the consumer medicine information supplied with your prescription of Clexane. If you experience any of these signs and symptoms, 
after administering your Clexain, it's important that you do talk to your healthcare professional about it. Only once I got some bruising, but not, not great big bruising, just a little bit of bruising. I must have miscued there at one time. Probably within two days it was gone, yes. Oh, well, apparently it was very effective because I never got any clots or anything, so apparently it was really good. We do expect patients to feel uncomfortable and a little confronted with the whole thought process of having to self-inject, but we find once they've looked at the Clexane DVD a few times and they've had support with their family and obviously their healthcare professional in administering the Clexane, we find that they get become a lot more comfortable with that. After having a DVT and taking Clexane as part of the treatment, I, I can say I can recommend it, which is a strange thing to say about a drug, I think. But it certainly, I know that it helped me get over all the issues that I was having with the DVT. And it's knowing that that means that you don't worry about self-injecting. You don't worry about those things because it's part of the treatment. And in the end, it's all fantastic.